That's pretty dang crazy. What? Hey y'all, Wild Kyle, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Michigan with James. You've seen in videos, he, <laughs> but. Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm all the way up in Michigan and I'm with my buddy James right now. And we just did some treasure hunting in the river behind us. And we had one of the most insane treasure hunting days we've ever had on the channel. Can't wait to show y'all what we found. Let's get the video started now. All right y'all, James and I are now walking around the river here. Looking for junk, or treasure I should say. Look at that, part of a big old crock with the number 12 on it. That's a promising sign right there. Very promising. Water is quite clear, I got my mask. So I'm definitely gonna do some snorkeling today. Perfect weather for it, it's warm out, clear water. Very excited to get in here. Check out what James pulled out. Look at that, it's old tea kettle. Yeah, it's enamelware, you can see the bottom. <laughs> oh wow, that is an old one. That's sweet, what is that? I have no idea, <laughs> I just wanna throw it. That tea kettle is cool. So I've been here before, last time I was in Michigan, right over here, there's some junk on the bank. Oh, there's a bottle right there. What are you? What is that? It's like an art deco thing, yeah, it looks cool. like. It's full, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's something. It's like an Art Deco soda, it's just beat up and I can't quite tell what's on it. Maybe we'll try and rub some of that junk off of there. It's probably like a mid-twenties, early thirties bottle. Let's try and get it somewhat cleaned up. All right, I was able to get this thing cleaned up a little bit. There's like a diamond pattern that goes in around the top here and around the whole bottle. It says Chapman's. It's got Saginaw, Michigan down there at the bottom. Very cool little soda bottle, probably from the mid-20s or early 30s, the Art Deco era, hence the nice design. Pretty cool bottle, I'll keep it. There's the top of a milk bottle right there. James has a, you said you have a Pat D Coke yeah. from Traverse City, Michigan. So, see the D on it. Pat and D, so not super old, but still fun to find a intact Coke bottle in the river. I'd like to find some of these complete and embossed. We'll see if that happens today. All the rocks, so many rocks. So many places for bottles to get caught. It gets deeper up here. I bet there's some big snapping turtles in here. That'd be fun to step on. Well, it's getting deeper right there. Places like this gonna have to throw the mask on. So all this stuff on the bank right here. Look at that old top. Right there from an old medicine bottle. Something right there. That's just all beat up. Right, we go into water with the GoPro. Mm-hmm. 
it's a boss. <laughs> no. Looks kind of art deco, but. Oh, it's pretty. No, that's super modern. I don't know what that is. Probably a weird RC cola or something. Yeah. It's so weird. It's just a patent D Coke it's from somewhere in oh, Erie, Pennsylvania, it looks like. So just a 1940s bottle or so. Cool. <laughs> mm. 
Pat D from Lansing, Michigan. Chip on the top, 1940s. Not quite what we want. That's so beautiful. It's called wow. an agate marble. Agate marble? That's yeah. cool. How old do you think? Probably from like the 30s, 40s. 30s or 40s. Oh, it's so pretty. That's awesome. I don't know how you spotted that. That's crazy. Woo! Caroling. Caroling oil. Lockport, New York. It's green. That thing's cool. That's blown in a mold. Wow, that's a cool bottle. That's definitely the fight of the day. That's the fight of the day right there. Wow. It's such a beautiful green. That is killer. I found the legs of a doll. <laughs> doll legs. Yay. device maybe <laughs> that's weird <laughs> I found a pocket knife a second ago <laughs> kind of cool <laughs> bunch of weird stuff hanging around I saw part of this one sticking out and neglected to film it but it is a squeeze some sort of art deco style soda I don't believe there's a town name on it unless there was one right down in there now it just says seven fluid ounces Kind of a neat bottle, look pretty cleaned up, I'm sure. I was on the bank getting a Gatorade break. Oh my God, that's American sweet. American Brewing Company, Detroit, Michigan with the Eagle. Pretty American efficient. Brewing Co, Detroit. Yeah. And I think it's, uh, it has a wood chip, but I think it's made. blown in mold. Oh, it is blown in mold. Hard to tell on the GoPro. That brick says Saginaw. Made the Saginaw, Michigan. Pretty cool. I believe these were prior to 1920. I was born in Saginaw, Michigan, so it's kind of fun to find.
taking a closer look I think it says CA Williston and son Bay City Michigan that is really neat Williston's a town in Florida so that's kind of funny Wow that is very cool fluid ounce something not much six and a half that is a very cool bottle can't wait to see that cleaned up <laughs> yeah I'm filming it Y'all look at this Playboy hottest home videos VHS from 1999. Oh, uh, I was sitting there like that, and I was like, "Oh, look, a VHS!" I did not expect the words to still be on it. That is hilarious. How many hours have we been doing this? I don't even know. <laughs> it's been a lot of hours today. It's a nice warm day. It feels good to be in the water. Banner Brewing Company, Saginaw, Michigan. That's a cool beer bottle. Got like a slug plate design. I'll take that any day of the week. That's awesome. Another squeeze, I do believe. This has got a town name, I think. Iowa? <laughs> what in the world? Decora. Decora, Iowa. That's crazy. Squeeze. Very neat. Uh, James in with the murder weapons. What the heck, dude? That's a big old saw. Really Look at that weapon. car! Toy truck! That's crazy. It says Firestone on it. Wow. Tonka. That's wild. <laughs> Definite enamel. Boy, how old do you think that is? Hard to say. Like 30s or 40s, maybe? That's crazy. 30s or 40s. That is a cool sign. Things have been sitting in the river for a long time. Joe Bradowski Body Shop. Well, as you can see, I got a lot of cleaning to do on this sign, but it's pretty sweet. Double-sided. Check that out. It's got a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of spiders crawling on it right now or something. Ah! Um, anyways, there is a lot of crust on this thing. Joe Bradowski Body Shop. But what's so cool about this is I'm pretty certain that there's a very good chance that this is actually the only sign like this that exists. This is probably a once-in-a-lifetime find. 
I'm going to throw some stuff up on the screen here that one of James' buddies found and sent over to him. Apparently, in the 1961 issue of Popular Mechanics magazine, there's a little article with a picture of Joe Berdowski, and they called him an inventor. And he had a shop, a body shop, in the little town of Vassar, Michigan. Now, I don't know the exact dates. I wasn't able to find information on exact dates, but it was a 1961 copy um, of, the, of that um, magazine. So somewhere around that time, I'm guessing, or earlier. Um, maybe he was operating through the 50s and 60s or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. Doesn't that mean there's probably a good chance there's no other sign like this? Because Joe Berdowski's body shop was just a local body shop in a small town. Um, so that's really, really insane. I can't wait to get this thing cleaned up so it'll look a lot better. You can see it a lot better when it was like wet and stuff like that. But once it's cleaned up, I think it's going to look pretty good. It's going to be a lot of work, though, because there's a lot of crusty stuff. But that, I'm thrilled. I'm completely thrilled about that. That's one of the coolest relics I've ever found. James, uh, he said he got something yeah, crazy. a little <laughs> suspicious. Oh my god! Oh, dude, it's le that's a legit gun. That is not a toy. Holy crap. That thing is hefty. That's crazy. We are not in a bad town. I'm surprised that there's a gun in here. What? Dang, this thing's been in here for a long time. That's crazy. Where was that? Wow. That's wild. All right, so about this gun right here. Typical protocol would be to call the police, which we did. Um, so we called the police and nobody answered the phone. And I called a few times. I called like three or four times. Um, nobody answered. And so we actually drove to the police station and all the lights were turned off and nobody was there. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess you could do whatever you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> at that time it was strange i don't know you'd think you'd be able to get a hold of the police uh, but i'm not sure why we couldn't so um so i still have this and um, i think what we're gonna do is go back to the oh, a little bug just crawled out of it um i think what we're gonna do is actually go back to the river and do some more searching and, on a different day and, and i'll call the i'll call the police then um and see if they can if they need this or can get any info from it um it was on the weekend, and um, it was a little later in the day. Maybe they were just shut down, but I called the non-emergency line a few times, and nobody answered, and I'm not going to call 911 for this. So uh, I think we'll go back, and uh, maybe I'll give you all an update in a future video about what happens with the gun. I think they're probably just going to take it. Um, I don't see much info they could get off it. It's pretty crusty, um, but you never know. I think it's the right thing to do to call them and get it in the hands of the professionals. So anyways, that's that. Thanks for watching today's video, y'all. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any adventures. I've got links in the description below to some of my music. Uh, I do singer, songwriter, folk, kind of country music stuff. I write all my own songs. And I've got a record coming out on July 21st. Um, so I'm really excited for that, and I'm very excited to share it with y'all. Uh, but don't forget to check out those links in the description below. And don't forget to check out right on the screen here. You're going to see some links to some videos that I've made that you might be interested in. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.